to how to use the Instant Atlas Area Profile Flash template. If you would like information on how to create an Instant Atlas dynamic report, then please refer to the How to Use the Instant Atlas Publisher with Flash Templates video. And if you would like information on the general functionality of our dynamic reports, then please refer to the How to Use the Instant Atlas Single Map Flash Template video. If you would like information on our Area Profile HTML Edition template, then please refer to the How to Use the Instant Atlas Area Profile HTML template video. So here we have our spine chart configuration of the Area Profile Flash template. If I select an area in the map, you will see the spine chart populate with all the data for all themes, indicators and dates for that selected area. I have the value for each of the indicators and dates and the percentage difference from the comparison area. The comparison area could be, say, the natural average, the state, or in fact it could be an average of the district that the area resides in. I have my bars here which show the percentage difference. Any bars which are to the left of zero tells me that it is less than the national average. Any bars to the right of zero shows that it is more than the national average. I also have a red line which represents the target for that area, so you will be able to clearly see for your area where it is falling short or exceeding its target. If you hold down control and select another area in the map, then you will see the spine chart update and you will be able to compare these two areas. The key for this chart is located down the bottom and displays which areas you have selected. The administrator can also configure this chart to display additional columns and symbols such as the ones shown in the performance analysis configuration. Here we have our performance analysis configuration of the area profile flash template. You can see that it is very similar to the spine chart configuration but shows the performance of each area for each of the indicators. I can click on an area in the map and the chart will populate all the data that it has for that area. You can see that you can have a wide range of columns in this chart which can display your data values and any additional data you have for an area. You can have columns which have just a value, columns that have a value and a symbol, and columns that have just a symbol such as the trend column. The administrator can configure these to be whatever you wish and change the shape and text of each category to suit your data set. In the performance column you can see that you have the possibility of showing a target with the red line as with the spine chart configuration, but what is unique to the performance analysis configuration is that you can also define breaks on an indicator basis to show what performance group they fall into. So here we have our radar chart configuration of the area profile flash template. The data is displayed in a radar chart which shows all indicators for all themes. If I select some areas from the map, you will see that it keeps the same scale for all indicators, with low values plotted near the centre of the radar and high values plotted near the edge. An individual area has its indicator values joined by a continuous line, so you can visualise how the area scores across a range of indicators and how this area compares to others. So that is how easy it is to use the Instant Atlas Area Profile Flash template. If you would like more information on how to create a Flash Dynamic Report, then please have a look at our How to Use Instant Atlas Publisher with Flash Templates video. And if you would like information on the general functionality of our Flash Dynamic Reports, then please refer to the How to Use the Instant Atlas Single Map Flash Template video.